Hello everybody, today we're going to be talking about a matter that needs to be discussed immediately. I'm Zebra Chastity Marie. I'm Keenan Cassopian Rainbow. And today, we're going to be talking about the Yellowstone Super Volcano. <laughs> So Zebra, yeah, how many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? I don't know, how many? Ten tickles. Huh. Alright, so uh, we're going to be talking about the, the Yellowstone Caldera, which is likely to explode. Yes, maybe even in our lifetime. No way. Yes way. <laughs> no. Yes! <laughs> no, that's, a, that's impossible. You're not just wrong, you're stupid. <laughs> Why? And you're ugly, just like your mom. Did you just insult my mom? Yes, I did, because you're wrong. <laughs> ah! Welcome back, everyone. Yeah, welcome back. Uh, we had some technical difficulties. Some difficulties. Te technical. Technical difficulties. Technical. You're right? I'm alright. Okay, alright. Anyways, uh, where are we? Oh, right, the caldera, the caldera. Uh, yes, the Yellowstone Caldera is a 34 mile. I'm sorry, my ears. I just can't. Sorry, uh, it's a 34 mile deep and 45 mile long underground mass of lava underneath the Yellowstone National Park. If you've ever been to Yellowstone, then you know those geysers that spit steaming water like out from the ground. Uh, those are caused by the giant formations of lava. Uh, the term supervolcano has been used to describe volcanic fields that produce exceptionally large volcanic eruptions. I personally like the name Super Volcano because, well, it's just cool. That's a stupid thing to say. Anyways, scientists have discovered that the ground in Yellowstone is 74 centimeters higher than it was in 1923, indicating massive swelling underneath the park. The reservoir is filling with magma at an alarming rate. The volcano erupts with a near clockwork cycle of every 600,000 years. Mm. The last eruption was more than 640,000 years ago. Mm. Mm. We are certainly overdue for annihilation. Mm. Mm. That's true. And if the supervolcano exploded, its immediate effects would be deadly enough, with some estimates saying that over, or maybe under, I mean, it's just the estimates. 87,000 people would be killed instantly. A 10-foot layer of ash would spread up to a thousand miles away, leaving two-thirds of the country completely uninhabitable. If the caldera exploded, America would be brought to its knees. Mm, that's a funny-looking accent. Okay, and um, and I think that the You're downfall. Funny person. Oh, thank you. And uh, and I think that the downfall of America is very soon. Just this month, roads were closed in Yellowstone after extreme heat from below was melting the asphalt on roads above. Since we are speculating about this, we thought, why talk about it here? Let's go to Yellowstone right now. We'll see you there. Okay, we are here in beautiful Wyoming, and we're standing on top of the massive caldera. Um, We've been here for about 30 minutes, and there have been some signs of activity. Uh, indeed, I'm kind of surprised they uh, even let us on here. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that um, it hasn't exploded. No! 